Leaving aside um, someone who says, well, I've been to the witch doctor, you might be more prepared to be disrespectful towards the witch doctor. But if you have someone who comes to you and says, well, I've seen the, the sports therapist in my local town and he says this will be fine, you don't think that's the case. What, what's your approach then? How do you deal with that conversation? Um, yes, and, and it's a common one. And, and the important thing is to be uh, respectful and kind to, to colleagues. Um, you just have to go through your assessment very carefully, uh, spend a lot of time on your clinical examination, and then sit down and go through the options. And all you can do is just say, well, look, based on my experience over so many years of, of work, this is what I find works best for my patients. Uh, obviously, you may have a concern if you think alternative treatments may have a degree of harm, and, and that harm may not be direct harm, but it may be that it's delaying the treatment mm -hmm. that the patient should get and therefore affecting what the long-term recovery might be. Then I think you have to be a little bit more dogmatic. Um, but uh, just generally, you just got to stick to your principles and say, look, this is really what I think is the best thing for you. And I've got this you know, uh, back, back catalogue of patients with similar problems. And this is what, what I believe works. Yeah, it's probably easier for someone who's got over 40 years experience in um, orthopaedic surgery to do than uh, a relatively newly qualified physio, osteo, chiropractor, isn't it? When you're, you're up against the sports team manager who's been doing this for umpteen years and, and thinks he's got a medical degree as a result of that. Yes, um, and that is a problem. And that's why I think I, I get a lot of young clinicians wanting to talk to me, how do I get into sports uh, uh, medicine, physiotherapy, osteopathy? chiropractic work and I think um, I always think it's important to get a, a good body of experience under your belt first which just gives you that mm. confidence because some of the people that you'll meet in sport at all levels can be fairly bombastic yes and dealing with coaches who believe they've got medical uh, background but clearly have not got is, is very difficult and the hardest thing, you know, is to say no to to either a player or a manager. Mm. And I think you you need to have just built up within your own repertoire, within your own career, that that that, that experience. It, yeah. it, it's a really difficult, and I, I still find it difficult at times. Yeah.